In this video, I have selected and collected some mods that you might be interested in today. First, I will introduce some gameplay-related mods. The first one is In the Flesh, a quest mod that is quite intriguing. This mod is a quest mod where you enter a secret research facility and face the evil that lurks within. If you enjoy horror quests, this mod is the answer. You will have to move forward against the horror in the dark facility. And mod creator says that this mod is more fun to play with the zombie enhanced mod like zombie walkers and recommends playing without followers. So please keep that in mind. Next up is Minimal Minimap. This mod displays a small map on the screen like a radar, as you can see in the video. This map shows allies and enemies, as well as entrances to buildings, barrel locations, and more. For example, allies are marked with blue dots, enemies with red dots, barrels with green squares, and the player with a white triangle. At first, the map is quite large, so you may need to adjust its size and position. Fortunately, this mod can be modified through MCM, which surprised me because it has no ESP plugin. I think there will be some skin mods based on this mod in the future. But anyway, this is a pretty innovative mod, so I wanted to introduce it to you. Next up is Ashland Station. Ashland Station is a location, quest, and settlement mod that takes the player to the lost city of Ashland beneath Massachusetts, where they can explore caves, ruined subway tunnels, sewers, and more. It aims to blend seamlessly with the vanilla game with a balanced mix of looting, combat, and dialogue. The environmental storytelling and backstory are mainly conveyed through NPC conversations, some notes, and audio holotapes. With Probably fully voiced, lore-friendly quests, a repairable subway station settlement, a large and complex dungeon, and legendary weapons and armor, this mod has everything you need for a great experience. I highly recommend you to try it out. Next up is the Rebuild All-in-One DLC Edition. This mod serves as a comprehensive version of the Rebuild series, completely overhauling the existing settlements of Dalton Farm, Echo Lake Lumber, Longfellow's Cabin, Visitor's Center, and Nuka World Red Rocket. While in vanilla, these buildings remain in their dilapidated state. This mod allows you to transform them into pristine structures, significantly enhancing their appearance. I find it quite useful, especially for those looking to improve their settlement aesthetics. In this segment, I will introduce you to some animation mods that can enhance your gaming experience. First up is Alternate Furniture Animations. This mod adds new animations for sitting on chairs and sofas. You have to choose and install one animation for each type of furniture. For example, you can sit on a chair with your arms on your knees or raise your left arm on a sofa. They look quite natural and realistic. The mod also differentiates between male and female animations and has animations for leaning on water pumps and walls. However, it would be better if Fallout 4 had a framework like Dynamic Animation Replacer from Skyrim, which can randomly play these animations. If you like this mod, please give it a try. Next up is New Weapon Idle Animations. This mod allows the character to take more diverse poses when holding a weapon. You can choose and install different animations for assault rifles, pistols, rocket launchers, snipers, or shotguns. They are all pretty cool animations. However, it was hard to pick just one because I wish I could use the DAR framework to randomly display these animations, as I mentioned earlier. That's because they were all well-made animations. Next up is the New Vegas Style Pistol Animations mod. This mod transforms the existing pistol animations into New Vegas-style pistol animations. Notably, it includes a motion where you hold the gun with one hand, and when paired with New Vegas attire, it adds an extra touch of coolness. Even if you're not a New Vegas fan, you might enjoy the animations demonstrated in the video, so give it a try. In this segment, we will introduce you to some of the rifle mods available. First up is BP-50FN F2000. This mod adds the FN F2000 rifle inspired by the Modern Warfare the 3 game set in 2023. It features custom models, textures, sounds, and animations for both first-person and third-person views, and supports various modification options. You can craft it at the chemistry bench. Next up is Vintage Revolver Rifle, Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion. This mod adds an old-fashioned Western-style revolver rifle to the Commonwealth, along with more than 30 new attachments and ammo types. It also includes custom models, textures, and animations. 
This weapon is injected into the Raiders, Trappers, and Minutemen after level 15. And you can find a unique version with special attachments at Arturo's house. It is a fairly vanilla-friendly and excellent rifle with basic sounds and animations. Add this weapon to expand your Commonwealth arsenal. Next up is Handmade Assault SMG Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion. This mod is a lore-friendly AKSMG made by Degenerate DAC and CSEP. This mod has over 40 new attachments and various skins and scope options. It is compatible with the munitions mod and uses 7.62 Tokarev ammo. This weapon is used by Nuka World Raiders and Gunners after level 18. And there is also a unique weapon with a legendary effect on top of the Brad Burton overpass. Add this excellent vanilla-friendly SMG rifle to your game and enjoy a more dynamic Nuka World. Next up is the Assault Shotgun Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion. This mod adds a new weapon called the AA-12 Shotgun. The AA-12 Shotgun can fire in semi-automatic or automatic mode, and it has more than 60 attachments to choose from. The attachments include skins as well. This mod has custom models, textures, sound effects, and more. This mod is also part of the Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion series, which means that the weapon will spawn on Nuka World Raiders and Gunners after level 20. Additionally, there are unique weapons with legendary effects near DB Tech High School, the Nucleus, and the Atom Cats. So, keep that in mind when you use them. Next up is the Varmint Revolver from the Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion. This mod is part of the Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion series and adds a shotgun-like revolver pistol. You can find this revolver in the Raiders, Gunners, Minutemen, and store inventories after reaching level 5. It can also be discovered near Abernathy Farm or in the University Point Administration Building restroom. The Varmint Revolver comes with custom models, HD 4K textures, and custom animations. While it has a rather adorable design, in practice, it might feel more like using a shotgun than a traditional revolver. If it catches your fancy, give it a try. It could be quite useful in close quarters combat. In this time, I'll introduce you to the Modern Warfare 2023 Titan Outfit. This outfit, designed for men, draws inspiration from Call of Duty's Tracer Pack, Resonance Ultra Skin Bundle, specifically featuring Bantam's Titan Skin. The helmet evokes an alien vibe while showcasing a rather sleek texture. It gives off a futuristic feel, almost as if it pairs perfectly with advanced rifles. The armor effectively highlights masculine musculature and boasts an overall design that includes a combat vest. It's a unique and stylish ensemble that I'm excited to present to you. Lastly, let me introduce a few visual-related mods. First, we have the Oppressor's Workbench. This mod remodels Fallout 4's workbench with a new 3D model and 4K textures. Instead of the factory-like workbench, it replaces it with a table featuring design blueprints. The design is simple, yet detailed, and it feels more aligned with the original purpose of a workbench. And there's also the modern Replacer Blowtorch. This mod enhances the old and rusty blowtorch from the original game transforming it into a sleek, modern version with shades of blue and green. From the nozzle to the handle, it features a clean and stylish design, making it a fantastic replacement. Lastly, there's a car battery replacer. This mod transforms the existing makeshift battery model into a car battery bottle. The design is quite detailed and looks impressive. Considering a more modern replacer could be a great way to enhance the battery model. Thank you for wrapping up the video introducing the must-have mods. If the video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Supporting through Patreon goes a long way in aiding video production. Until next time, see you in the next informative video.